What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the LexOffice accounting and business management platform and its different features. So, first of all, you need to go to their website, that's lexoffice.de, and you will get to their homepage right here. And here you see a glimpse of the different features of the platform as well as some screenshots here that do uh, showcase the platform in action as well as some notifications, some receipt scanning uh, features and so much more. In here you can see that they offer you accounting done faster. You can access all your task office and you get free support here. And you have all the functions that you need. So for example, you can keep an eye and organize and track your finances. You can create professional invoices and you can collect receipts here for your purchases. And if you scroll down, you can see some other features of the platform here. And you see that they are trusted by over 300,000 customers. And if you scroll down here, you see some uh, videos of the platform that explain it, as well as the uh, prices and plans. We'll take a look at them in a second. And you hear get cumulative invoices write offers to your customers and get digital accounting and so much more. Now, if you take a look at the prices here pretty quickly, now you have the small, medium, large and X large, the small plan, which is for 345 euros, the medium for 595 and the X large is for 1495, of course, uh, monthly here. So you can choose a plan and you can compare all the features and benefits of each plan right here in details in this comparison uh, chart and you get some frequently asked questions now let's uh, you can log in here or let's try it for free if you don't have an account so click on try for free and here you can uh, just test the platform or you can go ahead and subscribe to save now so i'm going to try for free here because i'm just testing the platform Okay, so I need to enter my email and my password. I'm going to do so pretty quickly. And now I accept the uh, contract for data processing. Register for free. And now I need to go to my inbox to uh, get to the verification code that they sent on my email. So I'm going to open my inbox and click on the confirmation link that is sent to me quickly. Okay, and after I did so, I can log in here with the same email and password. I'll enter the password once again. Okay, sign in. And here I need to enter my first and last name, so I'm going to add them quickly. And the site reverted to the original language, which is German, so I'm going to try to translate it to uh, English back again, so I can understand what they are asking for. Okay, so it doesn't want to translate for some reason, so I'm going to go ahead and click on any option here. Continue. And here I can view this uh, tutorial to get more information. And probably these are some steps that I need to do or tasks that I need to finish in order to finish creating my account or go to my dashboard. So if I click on this option, I need to um, like add some more information right here. Go back. Second option. I can choose a layout for my uh, invoice right here. So let's choose this one, okay. And I'm redirected to the main uh, like uh, option right here. I cannot really understand what this means, so I'm going to go back. And let's go ahead and see the budget tracking right here, or the financial tracking. Okay, now it... Uh, okay, now it finally uh, finished like translating. And here I can add the customer information. So I can search for or record a customer add. So I can record the customer here. I can add the bill number, customer number, date, street, postcode, and uh, country location and everything. So let's go back here once again. And let's see the fourth option. I can create an offer for the customer, add the customer information once again, but this time to create an offer for the gross or net uh, earnings. Let's go back. Okay, I can leave site here. And let's view the first option here. Okay, it doesn't want to translate. Let's go back. Okay, so um, these are the finished uh, like tasks here, the finished uh, like what we finished, the uh, invoice layout. 
Now, here I can set the email settings. So the sender address for sending receipts here, this is myself. I can link my own email from an external um, like uh, provider. And here I can add email templates like the invoice, offer, confirmation, order, delivery note. So let's add a template for the uh, invoicing. Okay. So regarding invoice, for example, and here news and greetings and link to customer center. Okay, save. And the template is now saved. Let's go to my dashboard here. And I can view all the steps that I need to do. So here, of course, I only completed one of the seven steps that I showed you before. I can go on to complete them all. I can here write my first invoice and send it. I can record my first issue and here save it. And here I have my tasks right here. Of course, there are no outstanding income, no outstanding expenses because this is a newly created account, no taxes, no uh, nothing. This is a uh, like empty account. Here I can get supported documents. I can get the finance options, bank. I can get the contact option, accounting, salary, and so much more. So if I go to contacts, for example, I can here create new contact or import my contacts if I want to. Let's go back to my dashboard. And here I can, let's click on write an invoice, for example, to add my information, to add the customer information, and everything to create my invoice. And here, if I scroll down, I can view a uh, like a preview of the invoice right here. I can see the product, let's say test product. The unit is per piece or per hour per piece. The price is 10 euros and plus tax here, which is 19%. And then add the description. This is a test product. Okay, create product or service. If it's a, here, it's a product. Okay, create. And now the product is added successfully. Okay, and here the total amount, of course, is still uh, the subtotal and the total amount here will be updated uh, depending on the number of services or number of items that you have. So that's pretty much it. That was like a quick overview of the LexOffice platform and its different features and benefits for your business. So you can go ahead and see for yourself it'll, if it's going to be beneficial for your business. And I do recommend you invest in such a platform to organize your business tasks, uh, help you to manage your invoices, your clients and contacts and so much more.